Hello, teachers. Welcome to today's professional development session on the dynamic role of houseplants in educational environments. Today, we'll delve into how integrating houseplants into your classrooms can enhance learning experiences, improve air quality, and make your classroom a more inviting place to learn. Let's explore how these living organisms can be not just decorative, but pivotal educational tools. Benefits of houseplants. Let's start by discussing the multifaceted benefits of having houseplants in the classroom. Plants are not only aesthetically pleasing, making the classroom feel more welcoming and vibrant, but they also purify the air by absorbing toxins and expelling clean oxygen. This can lead to better student concentration and reduce stress levels. Additionally, plants can help regulate humidity and reduce the prevalence of dry air, which can be especially beneficial in climates where dry indoor air is common during colder months. Educational Opportunities Incorporating houseplants provides numerous educational opportunities. Begin by teaching students the basics of plant care, watering, sunlight requirements, and understanding soil types. This can segue into more complex topics such as photosynthesis, respiration, and the water cycle. Each plant in your classroom can serve as a living lab specimen for these lessons. Student Responsibilities To foster a sense of responsibility and care, establish a rotating schedule for students to tend to the plants. Assign tasks such as watering, pruning, and monitoring growth. This not only teaches students about the needs and growth patterns of plants, but also instills a sense of stewardship and accountability. Scientific Experiments Utilize houseplants for scientific experiments to engage students with the scientific method. For instance, manipulate variables such as light exposure, water amounts, and plant nutrition to observe effects on plant health and growth. Students can hypothesize what might happen with each variable change, conduct the experiment, and document their results, enhancing their empirical and analytical skills. Cross-curricular integration. Plants in the classroom can also be integrated into art, history, and literature curricula. Students can draw or paint the plants, research plants native to different historical periods and geographic areas, or read and write stories involving plants. In conclusion, integrating house plants into your classroom is not just about beautifying the space or improving air quality. It's a gateway to enriching students' learning experiences across various disciplines. It encourages the development of observational skills, scientific thinking, and environmental awareness. I encourage each of you to start with one or two plants, perhaps a low-maintenance variety such as spider plants or snake plants. Observe how students react and interact with these new classroom residents. As you become more comfortable, you can expand your classroom garden and explore new educational possibilities. Thank you for joining today's session on integrating houseplants into your learning environment. I hope you are inspired to bring a little bit of nature into your classroom and watch as it transforms both the space and your students' engagement with learning. Happy planting and see you next time for more educational strategies.